Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I just feel like sitting here getting cute for no reason. <laughs> so um, I pulled out products in my collection that are not new. So there's nothing that I'm using that's like brand new. I want to just focus on the things that I already had in my collection, things that I haven't used in a while. Um, a couple of these products are in my current everyday makeup drawer. If y'all want to see the video where I showed everything that I'm currently using, currently rotating, I will have that video down below in the description. But today, I actually want to do my makeup as if I'm not filming a makeup tutorial because usually when... I know that kind of sounds weird. Let me explain. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing my makeup before filming like a haul or a, um, just those sit down videos where I'm not doing my makeup, I get so many requests to do those looks and they're so, so simple, but they're glam. Like they're really glam. They're full coverage, so simple, neutral. So I kind of want to do that today. Um, that way you guys can kind of see how I'm doing my makeup before filming those videos. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I mean, we're just doing it. So, um, I pulled out some skincare because I haven't done my skincare yet. I just washed my face. Um, this is the Clinique dark spot corrector and then also the Clinique moisturizer. So I'm going to go in with this first and I've been using this twice a day, every day because I just want to see if this is going to make a difference on my skin. Um, so as y'all can see, I still have a little bit of dark spots over here. Um, I just want to see if this lightens it up even more. So <laughs> that's why I've been using this serum twice a day, every day. It probably won't, but you know, now is a good time to at least tell you guys if this, you know, <laughs> if this is gonna make a difference or not. So um, I will let y'all know later on. I'll probably follow up with you guys like, I don't know, maybe a few weeks from now. But now I'm going in with the, uh, the hydrating jelly as my moisturizer. Okay, so we are done with, oops, with my skincare. I'm gonna put my Fenty lip balm on. I haven't used this in a long time. So I need to moisturize these lips. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of my um, Rimmel London primer. This is the Stay Matte. I just like to put it on my T-zone. I'm not gonna put this all over my face, just where I get oily and I also like to put it on my smile lines too. So for my brows, I, um, I'm going to use my minted brow pencil and I'm almost out of this one too, by the way, this is like, <laughs> let me twist it all the way up. This is all that I have left. Can y'all see that? Probably can't, but almost out of this. But yeah, I'm gonna take this and just trace my brows. And I always like to take Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade, um, in the shade 13, and just clean up under my brows. And if y'all wanna know what I'm putting on my face, keep in mind, I always put everything in the description. I'm gonna use my Elle Cosmetics foundation in the shade Coco. And um, let me put it on my sponge. Squirt it. Mm. 
This has been my go-to foundation. It gives such good coverage, y'all. And the color is perfect. So I haven't used Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in a while. And I'm almost out of this one, which makes me happy. I have the shade Chestnut. This is the color that I use for my under eyes. It always makes me happy when I am running, like when I empty a product. Let me know if you're the same way. Like if you're, like if you pan a product, if you use up a product, let me know if you get just as excited as I do because it's just something about using up a product that just makes me happy. I actually could use a lighter shade in this concealer if I want, you know, a brighter under eye. But once I put on my setting powder, it brightens it up even more so. This is the Laura Mercier. Y'all can see that I'm trying my best to use this up y'all so um it's in the shade transparent or translucent translucent i use transparent in the rimmel london press powder so you can see how it just instantly brightens up that area and then i always of course like to put it on my lids too to set my lids since i put concealer on there um, if any of you are new, I usually wear concealer as my primer, like on my lids. I don't usually use eyeshadow primer because I feel like doing it this way is just as good as eyeshadow primer because I have used primer in the past and I honestly didn't see a difference. So priming my lids with concealer and then just setting it a little bit with my setting powder works for me. And then taking my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the shade Toffee. I like to use this to set the rest of my face. And then take whatever is left on the brush and just buff it out all over. So I always like to go in back into my brows and I'm gonna do this with the spoolie just so they can fade out right there because a little bit of my foundation and powder kind of sweeps into the brow when I do this that's why I always wait until after I do my like my base to do this part and you can you can see that see how it just gives it that really pretty fade all right, so my Prom Beauty bronzer. We have not used her in a while. So let's use it. This is uh, Bronzeville. And I have to be really light-handed with this because it is really, really pigmented. Mm -mm. I usually take the e.l.f. bronzer palette and take the darker shade in it for my nose this color right there and I just take it down the side of my nose to contour because this is not girl this right here is not it for bronzer it's so so light so just like this getting right up in that corner going into the brow a little bit and then kind of dragging it down. So pretty much just making a C shape, taking it into the brow, pulling it down, the side of my nose, just like that. I used to just um, take the powder and start right here and down. But ever since Jackie showed us how she does her 
nose contour it just makes a world of a difference like it just looks so much better when you take it right here like doing a C and then bringing it into the brow and lightly taking it down the side of your nose to me it just looks so much better like so much better I still go in and blend that out because I know <laughs> I know it look a little crazy so I'm gonna blend it out but I always like to go in with another powder. This is my Wet n Wild Banana Powder. It's a loose powder. And I'm just gonna take my sponge and I like for my powder to sit on the side of my nose for a few minutes. So I just take it just like that. I am gonna take the NARS Loaded Palette. I don't think they have this anymore because I was looking for it when I mentioned it in my other video just so I can link it for you guys, but I could not find this anywhere online. So let me know if this, like, did they make this limited edition or something? Let me know, let me know. Okay, so my brush is my Morphe M504. You guys know the drill. If you're not new, you know the drill. But if you're new, this is my favorite blending brush of all blending brushes. So, um, let's see. When it comes down to doing, like when I'm sitting at my vanity doing my makeup before I film a video, I do not think about it. And I feel like when I'm sitting here in front of you guys, when I'm doing my makeup, I feel like I'm thinking about, like I think too hard about it. So the eye looks are always, always just thrown together really quickly, but they are some of my best eye looks. I just, I just don't film them. So now that I'm filming it, I feel like I'm thinking too hard about this. <laughs> so um, the first shade I wanna dip into is this uh, nude, kind of like a nude orange right there. And I'm gonna put this in the crease. So naturally I would, I mean, I would naturally dip into this anyway if I'm not filming a video and put this in the crease. So we're gonna try to do what I would naturally do if the camera was not in front of me. So maybe if I just be quiet so y'all can just watch what I'm doing, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> but I'll at least tell you guys what color I'm dipping into. But I'm gonna try not to talk while I do this. And then I'm gonna go into this chocolate color this really dark dark brown and i just tap it like this and if y'all know me y'all know i don't like to switch out my eyeshadow brushes a lot so i usually stick to one brush um so yeah oh let me show you what i'm doing so i'm tapping into this lighter peachy color right here and also that first color that we use i'm just going back and forth tapping back and forth blending those together and i'm placing it where i didn't put on any eyeshadow so right in the inner corner and just feathering it out into those other colors so i don't like to be too precise when i'm doing these types of looks i just girl i just put it on the eyes blend it out and I'm kind of messy with it, but it makes it look so pretty when you do that because everything just blends together and it just looks so soft. So just tapping it and just sweeping it into those other colors, just like that. Like, that's what I be doing, girl. When y'all don't see me do these tutorials, when y'all see me come on camera with a full look, this is how I be doing them, girl. Just take random colors, random soft neutral colors, and then place them on the eyes. Sometimes, like when I feel a little fancy fancy, I would go in with a metallic, and it's usually this, like this type of color right here. And I'll still take the same brush and just lightly tap it in there and just place it all over the lid and I do it so lightly to where you honestly can barely see it but you can see that there's a little bit of a glow on my lid and if I'm not mistaken this is actually I didn't use this palette but this is 
kind of what I did. Ooh, I put too much right there. Ugh, I hate when I do that. This is kind of the look that y'all saw in the video where I did um, my everyday makeup drawer. My every, well, what's in my everyday makeup stash? But I use the Too Faced Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette. But this look is very, very, very close to that. Um, but yeah. See, you can see a little bit of glow, just a tiny bit of the glow on the lids, but it's, you know, it's still really soft, it's still really subtle. And this is, girl, this is what we be doing when the camera is not in front of me, when I'm sitting at my vanity doing my makeup before I sit down and um, film my videos, like my sit down talking videos. This is the eye look that I usually gravitate towards. If it's not this, I would do just a one shadow look. A lot of you know that's my all time favorite look of all looks. It's just a matte, all matte one shadow look um or if i want to do like amp it up a little bit more i would do one like one color on the lids and then a darker shade on the outer outer lid right here and just kind of fade those in or if i wanted to like be extra fancy like today this is what i do even though it's still really quick simple but it's just a touch of glitz a touch of glam but it's still really, really simple. So um, the lashes that I'm gonna pop on are my Ardell Remy lashes, my favorite lashes of all lashes, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna pop these on really quick and I'll be back. Okay, so eyes are done. I took my CoverGirl mascara. It's the um, Exhibitionist, uh, Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara, which is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. And one of my favorite drugstore eye pencils, which is the Pixie Endless Silk. Um, this one is the black one. So the way that I like to use black eyeliners is I'll start in the center of my waterline and I'll take it out. So I don't go all the way in right there. And I usually cut this part out because my eyes water a lot when I do this. So, um, I'll just take it in the center, right? Like right there in the center and take it out. And then I will take a little, uh, pencil shader brush and I will blend it out with that. That makes it look smoky right there. And then I'll go in with my mascara. So if I take a black liner all the way in, it kind of makes my eyes look smaller and more round. That's why I always try to take it, like I always try to start in the center and then um, take it out. So that way they can look more, what's the word? It gives me that elongated cat eye look, if you get what I'm saying. So. Anywho, um, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I'll go back into the eyeshadow palette and I will pick up, um, I'll pick up a lighter shade just to take it in the inner corner. So today I think I'm going to take this light silver gunmetal color and I'll take this Urban Decay Naked double sided brush. This has a little pencil shader brush at the other side. So I'll take a little bit and place it right here to give me a little bit of dazzle, glitz, and glam right there. And then kind of brush it into the lid, but not all the way, just like that. So you can see a little bit of a glow, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Before I spray my face, cause I wanna have that, kinda like that natural glowy dewy look. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Milani Blush, which I haven't used this one in a while either. This is in the shade um, Spiced Rose. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I don't necessarily have to go in with a highlighter, which I haven't really been wearing highlighters that much recently anyway. I'm just gonna take it and just give me a little bit of a flush of color on the cheeks. I always like to smile when I do this because I don't know, I feel like I can find my cheeks better when I do this. <laughs> okay, and I always take another brush, well, the powder brush that I used earlier and just go over the blush. So that way it won't look too too, you know, 
so it won't look too much. And the last thing that I do is, well, not the last thing, but before I go in with the lips, I'm gonna spray my face to give me that glow back into the skin. And this is a really strong sprayer, so you have to be careful with this. And then I'm gonna take my damp sponge and just press it in a little bit so there's no droplets showing. So you can see here how the spray just brought my skin back to life. It doesn't look as matte as it was. It doesn't look too flat. It just gives me that skin, that skin-like look, that glowy look, but not too greasy look, if you get what I'm saying. So um, very last thing that I do is, of course, the lips. And I usually go in with a nude lip. So I haven't used my MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork in a while. So I'm going to line my lips using this. And I still have a little bit of that um, lip balm on, but it's okay because I'm using a gloss anyway. Okay, so for the gloss, I'm using the new Nabla Gloss in the shade District. And it's just a, um, a beige nude gloss. It's a true nude. There's no pink undertone or anything like that. So it's a true nude. I'm just gonna put this on my lips. Mm -mm -mm. I love this lip combo. Um, I'm gonna take another spray. I know I just sprayed my face, but I'm gonna take a little bit of my Cover FX Dewy um, Setting Mist, even though I just used a Dewy Mist. But the way I wanna use the Cover FX is just take it in this area to give me a little bit more of a shine or just more of a dewy look. And I'm just gonna take it on the side like this. I get carried away with this. <coughs> I get carried away with this stuff. Um, and then taking my damp sponge once again and just kind of lightly tapping it in. With this one, I don't have to tap it in as much as the e.l.f. because the sprayer on this is so much more fine. Um, and then with e.l.f., this one is so, so strong. But yeah, so see how it gives me, like, it gives me more glow right there i don't even have to put on highlighter so and it stays like that it doesn't just dry up or just get dull it stays like this on the skin but yes girl this is literally one of my go-to looks when i'm just sitting at my vanity doing my makeup before filming other videos so um let me know if you guys want me to do another one like this. I have a couple of more that I always do when I'm just, you know, sitting there doing my makeup. And um, if there's a video that you guys have seen from me where I'm sitting here talking about products instead of doing a tutorial, if you like that look in that video, let me know which video it is and I'll be more than happy to try to um, try to recreate that look for you guys. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if there's anything that I shared in today's video that you guys have already tried out, what are your thoughts on the products? Do you like it? Do you not like it? A lot of you know I love to know your thoughts on pretty much everything that I share on my channel. So let's go ahead and talk about it down below in the comments. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.